Hi everybody, welcome into another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. We've got a lot planned for this week's show. We're going to talk some Gamecock football, men's and women's basketball as well. Carolina's headed to the Belk Bowl, first ever time to be playing in that locale, at least in terms of the postseason. South Carolina, of course, a perfect 3-0 at Bank of America Stadium during regular season affairs. This time around, they'll be matched up with the Virginia Cavaliers, and we're going to show you some highlights from the just completed 2018 regular season in just a bit. Also, as we mentioned, we're going to have a great look at Donye Kleine from the women's basketball team and a visit with Gamecock head men's basketball coach Frank Martin. But first, let's look back to the 2018 season South Carolina football. Today is about the Gamecocks. In the 125th year of college football at the University of South Carolina, the Gamecocks try to climb upward again in the third season of the Must Champ era. Debo at the 40, breaking away at the 30, not going to get him at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Carolina. Like a 40-yard dash, I'm barely slow. Once the beast start to smash, it gets scary, bro. Smashing the competition and opposition. When my beast most turned on in my position. Because once I'm on, you can run. Could go the distance, Dixon. And AJ at the middle, driving towards the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, A.J. Turner. And it's a touchdown pass to the true freshman, Josh Van. An unbelievable <laughs> ball game that lasts five hours. Oh, and beat the Missouri Tigers for the third straight year. That team is gutsy, man. They find a way to win. I was made for this. There ain't no quitting this football team. You just keep fighting. You play off each other. You feed off each other. That's what you got to do in life. Everybody understand that? Yeah. You got to keep fighting. There ain't no quitting this team. And the best time about winning this time of year, I'll see you soon. They say, yeah, that's all I need. You either got it or you don't. There is no in between. Woke up in peace mode. Peace mode. You don't want to see the fame, see the teeth show. Nah, I'm a dog. Yeah, I'm off the leash. That's the final today. The Gamecocks win it. 20 seniors, their last ball game, including Debo Samuel. The Gamecocks sit at 7-5 and five as they get ready for the Virginia Cavaliers in the Belk Bowl. That, of course, is coming up December 29th at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. Hopefully you'll be there to cheer on South Carolina with head coach Will Muschamp and his crew. Coming up next, when we return here on Gamecock Insider, we're going to talk some women's basketball. Great look at a rocky road that Donye Kleine has followed to her successful finish here as a senior with Don Staley's squad. So stay with us. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing.
We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150, best in class payload, best in class towing, built for the holidays. During the Built for the Holidays sales event, get 0 for 72 or 11790 in total savings on F-150 at your Carolina Ford dealer. During this year's certified South Carolina grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Say happy holidays with a Buy Low gift card. Buy Low has everything you need for a holiday feast. And who doesn't love the gift of food? Head to your nearest Buy Low today and get your loved ones a gift they'll be thankful for. Buy Low is the premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. Donye Kleine is a senior leader for the Gamecock women's basketball team, but if you would have told her a couple years ago that she would still be wearing the garnet and black as a senior, she might not have believed you. It's a very interesting story of perseverance and ultimately success with great memories along the way for the senior from Newark, New Jersey. WellCare is the presenting sponsor of Gamecock women's basketball. WellCare, beyond healthcare, a better you. Growing up in Newark, it was pretty interesting. I, uh, I moved like every two, three years of my life. I mean, I've just, I've just been living in like the project buildings. So I grew up uh, around a lot of people just dying uh, through the gang banging, mis, you know, mishaps, um, robbery, what, you name it, it happened. And more than half of like my high school classmates like passed away or got killed. So it was pretty like eye-opening. Like once I heard about all the news and stuff like that when I go home. And it, it was just, it was heartbreaking too because um, I considered myself like wanting to be home so bad and never really thought about, you know, what could happen to me with just one summer. So I appreciate everybody that, you know, who supported me, who, who told me to stay in South Carolina, and you know, who said it was the best opportunity and the best chance for me to, you know, make my own path and get, you know, my parents and my brothers and sisters, you know, out of the ghetto. Uh, my high school coach, uh, Vanessa Watson, um, she she is a head coach now for Bloomfield College. Um, she she just wouldn't give up. She was relentless. Like she would tell me, like she knew Coach Staley, so she had a real great relationship with her. And she just made sure that I stayed out here in the South. She would call me every day, and I would call her and my mom crying, saying I wanted to go home, and they would say, you can do it, you can do it. It was a battle. I mean, I was like, you know, this close to going home, and then I look back on it. I thank God that I actually did come to South Carolina, because if I stayed closer to home, uh, I think it would be hard to say, you know, where I would be today, because, you know, anything can happen at any moment, you know, just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. And I'm just pretty thankful to be alive today. <laughs> Graduating at the University of South Carolina is going to be the best thing ever because I'm going to be the first person in our family to graduate and get a degree. That is 
just super excited. I'm really happy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whatever new day is coming out, I'm doing it. Just to say it, it's just like, wow. Like, I think my story for those people who, you know, who wants to stay close to home or whatever, uh, I think that you should, you know, uh, explore your horizon and look other places. Don't just, uh, you know, have your mindset that you want to stay home just because it's easier for you and, you know, you can, you know, go home whenever you can. But uh, it's just the, the environment, the people, the connections that you can build over the years. And, you know, you never know what, what you might end up with. I ended up with a national championship. So something went right in the process of all of this. So I was very, very happy when I, when I accomplished that. And I was the first ever in my whole entire city to win one. And I can say that for the rest of my life. Now my goal is to win another SEC championship because that has never been done before. I went in five in a row. So that, I'm, I have my eye on it like, like a hawk got an eye on his prey. You know, SEC season is where everyone comes out, you see everyone's potential, and everyone plays hard and wants to win it. But, I mean, it's just, it's just the game itself. It's just pretty cool. So, I think that'll be the best, that'll be the best accomplishment thus far. Danye Kleine, born in Newark, New Jersey, changed by South Carolina. Donye and her teammates are back in action at Colonial Life Arena coming up on December 21st when they will be taking on the Temple Owls, of course, the squad that Don Staley formerly coached. When we come back with more of Gamecock Insider, a look inside a wonderful charity event involving both the Gamecock men's and women's basketball team. So stay with us. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina, because painkillers can be just plain killers. Welcome to the final days of Toyotathon. We've got some great deals. I need something to go with the snowboard I got for Christmas. How about the RAV4? Sick. We got bikes! Tacoma! Woo! I got into a situation ship. Sounds complicated. Let's get you into a better situation with the Corolla hatchback. Right now, during the Toyota Thon sales event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 holiday bonus cash. We got keys! Toyota, let's go places. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit USCContest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. We're in the McGuire Arena, the underbelly, if you will. This space is now housing the South Carolina men's basketball offices. There's also training room and weight room here and the entrance to the practice gym, which of course was the former home of Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Those two teams got together for a, a great cause recently. If you know much about Inner Soul, it is the charity that Dawn Staley started and these two teams helped her cause and helped a lot of kids here recently in the Columbia area. Y'all dancing or what? We dancing or what? Hey, come here! Teach me that! Teach me that! Teach me! Come 
dance. Oh, you want to dance? Come here. Come on. Do something. Do something. Shake. Come here. Give me this one. Oh, I know y'all know this one. I know y'all know this one. So we wanted to bring a little Christmas cheer by giving you guys um, a new pair of sneakers from, from us. Uh, obviously we got your sizes. If you don't like the sneakers, you want something else, guess what we'll do? We'll go get you something that you'll like. We, we like to give from the bottom of our hearts and hopefully we'll be able to do this every single year. Um, the sheriff has been nice enough uh, to always invite us to be a part of this and we certainly don't want to disappoint because he does so many great things in the community. This is just the, you know, this is just a talk of appreciation for, for you guys. I want to wish you the best of, of luck in life and in, um, and in um, the holiday spirit. Epworth Children's Home has been the recipient of great contributions from South Carolina Athletics Department personnel and athletes for a lot of years and just another great example of that. When we come back with more of Gamecock Insider, we're sitting down with the head coach of the men's basketball team, Frank Martin, so stick around for that. Hey, Bob. Frank, how do you get people to watch for the warning signs of heart disease? Yeah, heart disease is the number one killer in the state of South Carolina. You need to go get checked so you know your numbers, then you can lower your risk. Coach, 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 but how do you get people on board? This is a team game. We need to do better, and we will. So go get your blood pressure checked. You too, Bob. <laughs> coach, coach, coach. coach. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150, best in class payload, best in class towing, built for the holidays. During the Built for the Holidays sales event, get zero for 72 or 11,790 in total savings on F-150 at your Carolina Ford dealer. During this year's certified South Carolina grown Palmetto series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Good hard work has earned Gabrielle Broussard the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the equestrian team, Broussard is a sophomore experimental psychology major with a 3.7 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Backdoor pass to Keyshawn Bryant, who will soar to the rim and flush it with two hands. A little bit of energy that time. Holy moly, he just went over Charles Matthews and waited for Matthews to fall back down before putting it down with both hands. Big time dunk from Keyshawn. That's your Sansbury Ice Center. Did you see that play? Keyshawn Bryant skying to the rafters of the Chrysler Arena to put that dunk down. Coach, he has uh, shown the ability 
to be an explosive athlete for you already. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, uh, it's what we try to get him to do is to play more explosive more often, not just when he's got an opportunity to dunk a ball. Uh, he's got a lot of life in his body and, and he's got some basketball instincts and he's, uh, he's been a whole lot of fun to coach so far. So uh, we, we gotta, there's gonna be a whole lot of those moments over his career. Uh, we got to get him to utilize that explosiveness now defensively, rebounding, doing other things that, that he will grow into eventually. A little over a month into the season, you're starting three freshmen, so there's going to be some growing pains with that. But boy, <laughs> all three of those guys have uh, they've certainly shown glimpses as to why you're excited about uh, having them not just now but moving forward. Yeah, it's uh, AJ, TJ, and Keyshawn. Uh, um, if you were to ask me if that's what I want to do, I'd rather not start three freshmen, but they've earned the right to be on the floor. And, uh, uh, and so we, we have to be patient. We got to teach them. Uh, we, we have to be demanding and, and, uh, and keep holding them accountable so they can grow up. Uh, you know, like I tell them all the time, sometimes you grow up sitting and watching, other times you grow up under the fire and uh, they're growing up under the fire. Been a bit of a seesaw for your team so far this season, uh, but certainly the last time out against a top five team in Michigan on the road, you saw, I would imagine, some, some positives to build upon as you headed in to a break for final exams, probably uh, the best extended period of time your team's played. We've actually, I thought, played pretty well for, for a couple weeks here. Uh, obviously. Uh, you lose at Wyoming, you don't get excited about that. Uh, I didn't think we played horrendous in that game, but we missed 16 layups, and then we were three for 20 from the three-point line. And uh, what we did wrong in that game is that missing all those layups kind of impacted the spirit that we were playing defense with. And that's, that's where growth has to step in. You, you can't allow missed shots to impact your spirit when you play. And, uh, and then obviously last game out against uh, um, Michigan, we, I don't want to say we put it all together because we did not, uh, but we actually play like a team that practices and has a structure and a personality, which is what we're striving to become. On the Palmetto Health Injury Report, that, that's been a factor through nine games too. You have not had your full complement of pieces, and right now the biggest one that's missing for you is uh, Justin Manaya, such a huge part of things for you last season at both ends of the court. Yeah, Justin's, uh, um, and he was starting to become the personality of our team. Uh, he, he, he played with an enthusiasm, a courage, uh, an aggression uh, that was giving him uh, the ability to, to become that personality. And he will continue to become that personality as he gets healthy. But we, we've, we've seen it all, whether it's Trey Campbell's ankle injury, uh, Chris, shoulders, Chris Silva's shoulder, um, you know, TJ Moss barely practicing the preseason, Alonzo Frank hurts his knee. Just a lot of guys that we, we've been depending on the play, uh, not getting the number of repetitions that they need to, but hopefully we keep getting healthier as the year goes on. On Justin's knee surgery, uh, any idea yet as far as what you're looking for in a return to at least getting him out into practice? Still a little too soon. I mean, he's walking already. He's, uh, uh, he did some running on the assisted treadmill, the weight, the one that takes the weight away from you. Uh, he's done some stuff in the indoor, the, the underwater treadmill. Um, you know, his range of motion is good. Now it's just a matter of uh, regaining strength in that quad and that hamstring that uh, that muscle atrophies anytime there's any kind of surgery. And we, we got to get that leg strong to, uh, to where, make sure there's no swelling and make sure he can go out there and compete and not hurt himself anymore. What a week it will be coming up at Colonial Life Arena. You've got number three, Virginia, and then the Clemson Tigers with the Palmetto State rivalry coming up as well. Coach, should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. I hope our fans understand how hard these kids are playing to, to get better and the kind of teams that we're bringing into the building, and uh, uh, we need them. I hope they come out and uh, support our guys. Now this from My Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call him. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater.
learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina, because painkillers can be just plain killers. Welcome to the final days of Toyotathon. We've got some great deals. I need something to go with the snowboard I got for Christmas. How about the RAV4? Sick. We got bikes! Tacoma! Woo! I got into a situation ship. Sounds complicated. Let's get you into a better situation with the Corolla hatchback. Right now, during the Toyota Thon sales event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 holiday bonus cash. We got keys! Toyota, let's go places. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the court. Winners receive two tickets, pregame court passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Court is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Hey everybody, back to wrap things up on Gamecock Insider. Let's start with our Terminex Pest Player of the Week. Even though the season for him is over, we're going to talk for a moment about Debo Samuel. Just this week, named to the National Coaches Association's first team All-American squad as an all-purpose performer. Of course, Debo put up magnificent numbers as a kick returner and a receiver for four years in the Garnet and Black, and we certainly wish him all the best as he moves forward towards professional football. That'll wrap things up for this week's edition of Gamecock Insider. We'll take a brief hiatus during the holiday season and be back to see you again in January. But until then, have a happy holiday season. I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for watching the Gamecock Insider.